what is going on everyone guys in today's video we are going to be taking a look at something that i picked up honestly it was months and months and months ago this was a yard sale find and i basically put everything from that yard sale in this bag and i wanted to do like a haul like pickups type of video just kind of where we go over it because there's a lot of awesome stuff and i just felt like you guys deserve to see it so we're gonna go ahead and jump in but yeah we didn't spend much money that's one of the best parts about going to yard sales and as you guys can see it's just like tons and tons of stuff i don't know what this is a charger maybe a charger all right so we got a little charger in here <laughs> a little charger off the bat make sure the camera's focused there you go and yeah we're gonna set that to the side and guys it's just game after game after game let's take a look at what we got guys first up we've got ed ed and eddie jaw breakers i've never played this game Looking forward to checking it out. Usually what I do, um, I like to play pretty much every game I come across if I've never played it. If it's a double or something, you know, I'll trade or sell it off. But a game like this, I do like Ed, Ed, and Eddie in general, but I've never played this game. So I'll check it out. If the game's fun, I usually hold on to it. If the game is whatever, I probably sell it off. I don't have to keep it. So that's kind of what I do with pretty much every game I come across. Next up. We've got The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I do remember this name. I don't know anything about this series. I didn't watch it when I was a kid, and I've never played any of the games. So y'all let me know down below if this is a good one. Next up, guys, we've got Curious George. I feel like I have played this game, or it was another Curious George game. I can't remember right now. But yeah, we got Curious George. And it's not just Game Boy Advance stuff, guys. There's other stuff in here, too. Look, we got... Nintendo 3DS, we've got Angry Birds, and this is the trilogy. Now, something like this, I don't necessarily need to hold on to. I played a lot of Angry Birds on my phone when this game first came out, and I have played some of the console versions. I think there's a Wii U version, uh, maybe a Nintendo Wii version as well. So something like this is like, yeah, fun games, but realistically, I'm not going to jump into this at all. I've already played it, so I'd probably sell it off. Or trade, just depends. Next up, guys, we have Marvel Superhero Squad, another game that I've played a little bit of. Uh, it's okay. I wasn't, like, super crazy about it, but I have played a little bit of this one, so this would be a game I'd probably maybe hold on to for a little bit, but most likely end up selling off later on. Or trade, whichever. Usually, I just throw stuff on eBay, though. Guys, next up, we got Mario Kart 7. Great game. Already have this one, so it's always nice when you come across some doubles, um, and then that way you got some stuff to either trade for games you don't have or toys you don't have. Or, once again, you just sell it, <laughs> throw it on eBay or wherever you sell, and then you make a little money. And usually that money ends up funding back into the hobby one way or another. Next up, guys, we've got Monster High, and this one's called Ghoul Spirit. Funny enough, I think this is a double for me. This is one of those games I don't know why I've had in my collection for so long. Not really a fan of... Uh... <laughs> the monster high stuff but here we are so yeah probably uh sell that one off too <laughs> guys we got madagascar 3 never played this one this is a great example of one of those games that i would like to try out probably doesn't end up staying in the collection but at least i got to play it so i'm i'm pretty picky nowadays with the games i keep at the very beginning of game hunting like when all this started years ago i pretty much kept every single game i've never played and once again that was with the intentions of checking them out at some point and now over the years i've played a lot of these games i've played a lot of like the shovelware games and stuff like that so i can just tell you off the bat a game like this i probably would enjoy but not necessarily enough to want to hold on to it forever so you guys let me know down below how you like to collect i know everyone kind of does different things but i'm letting you guys know what i like to do next up what do we got in here guys it's just a bag of wonder i love this so much what is this mucha lucha i don't know what this one's called Ma mascaritas of the lost code okay mascaritas of the lost code i'm not sure i've never once again never played it looking forward to checking it out whenever i jump into game boy advance next up we've got tom and jerry the magic ring now i do love tom and jerry i grew up watching tom and jerry so i don't know maybe it'll be a fun game we'll find out now of course all these games are gonna have to be cleaned i'm sure they're super dirty this one already looks dirty off the bat 
So yeah, you can see a little bit of dirt in there, but we have Mario Kart, Super Circuit, and I don't know if this is a bootleg or not. The label is definitely kind of, eh. But usually there's ways to tell. Like the way that says Game Boy Advance looks kind of funky. Yeah, I think that one's a bootleg. And it has the lettering up there, like the A G B A M K E versus down there. I think it's normally printed down there. There's ways to find out if your games are fake or not. Just looking at this one though, yeah, the difference there in that logo. I want to say this game is probably not legit, but it might be fun to pop in and see. Sometimes, uh, sometimes bootleg games are just really funny looking, and you can just tell when you put the game in. Like sometimes you put the game in, and it's not even the game. It might be like. Angry Birds or something, you know? It's just like, what the heck? <laughs> like, what's even going on? Guys, this is, oh my gosh. I love doing this. I need to do more videos like this. When I come across big Nintendo hauls, I need to do like a, a video over here on this channel. I've done that before in the past. I just don't come across them too often, so. Next up, guys, we have Cars 2. Very cool. And this one, I think I have on the PS2. We have SpongeBob SquarePants creature from the crusty crab so if i have this game but it's on another console i probably don't need to keep it like for example i went through my sega games not too long ago and i had a lot of sega games that i already had on either the nes or the snes and i was just like why am i having like i'm not looking for a full sega collection so i think it's time to downsize a little and honestly doing that right there kind of kick-started downsizing a lot of other stuff it's like Oh, I have doubles of this. I have doubles of that. I would rather get rid of those extra games and bring in some games that I don't have. It just makes sense, especially when you're kind of low on space. So you'll make decisions like that after after a while of collecting when you're just like, dang, I need to lighten up the load a little. <laughs> Next up, guys, a classic Hannah Montana, the movie. Now, I know I did say I like to play every game at least once. And that includes games like this. I'll pop it in. I'll check it out. Give it the nice five-minute spin. <laughs> and uh, who knows? Maybe this is a hidden gem. Got it. <clears throat> what was that? All right, guys. Next up, we've got Night of the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian. I bet this one's pretty fun. Hmm, we'll find out later. Another Monster High game, guys. And like I said, even the uh, Hannah Montanas and games like this, I'll pop in. I'll check out. Hey, you never know. Sometimes a game like this might surprise you. But what I'm thinking is this game, along with uh, this game right here, are going to make a nice little bundle <laughs> for somebody out there, probably on eBay. <laughs> we'll see you later on. All right, guys, next up. Oh, my gosh, it's just endless. It's endless. What is this one? Oh, yeah. All right, so this is cool. I, I should make a whole video on these. Now, at the time when I picked these up, I was like, I'm probably going to go for the full collection of these Game Boy Advance video cartridges. There's not many. I forget exactly how many. I want to say maybe like 30 or so, or maybe it was like 20. It's somewhere around there. Like, it's not much more than 30, I don't think. But I was like, dang, that'd be kind of a fun goal to go for. It's always fun to come up with random collecting goals. Like, oh, let me see if I can complete the whole set. And at the beginning of collecting, like I said, I was going through every freaking set. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe one day I want to collect all of this. And now I'm like, no, I'm just looking to go for the Wii U set still and the N64 set. Those have not changed. But things like this, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But very cool. I should probably make a video on all of these that I have in my current collection, kind of before deciding what I want to do with them. Because like I said, I was going to collect all of them. I got a few now. Um, but yeah, the Fairly Odd Parents on Game Boy Advance. You'd put this in your Game Boy Advance and it would play actual episodes from this show on your game boy advance so i thought that was a pretty cool thing that nintendo did next up what do we got in the handful of mystery wow speaking of mysteries we got magician's quest i think that's supposed to say it looks like yes, mysterious time so that's kind of funny we just said the word mystery kind of creepy this is by konami so i don't know you never know konami puts out some bangers so that might be a fun one Next up, we've got the quest for cool stuff, Phineas and Ferb. Now, I want to say this is another one of those games that I have already on another console. I need to check. I think I have this on the Wii or the Wii U. Now, sometimes having that portability aspect, though, is a little bit nicer, but we will see. This is one of those ones I kind of put in, like, the maybe pile, and I decide later on once I go through all my games and see what I have. 
Next up, guys, we've got Shrek the Third, and this is funny. I know I have this game <laughs> because I just looked at a copy of it the other day. I think it was on my PS2. So I remember picking that game up going, dang, can't wait to play that one. <laughs> and I put it back down. But yeah, Shrek the Third. Very cool. Next up, guys, Drawn to Life, SpongeBob SquarePants. Another one of those games I want to say I have, I might already have on the DS. And guys, this isn't a brag, by the way. I'm not trying to, oh, I got this, I got that. Like, it's never a brag on this channel. Just being transparent with you guys, you know. If you guys picked up a collection, I'm watching your video. Tell me if you already got it. I'm not going to be offended, you know. Just let me know, whatever you want to say. <laughs> but yeah, Drawn to Life, I think we got that one too. I should have been organizing these as I go through them, but I'll just do it again later because that makes sense. All right, guys, next up, we've got a little AC adapter, the USG002 model. This is a for, I think, the 3DS, if I'm not mistaken. It might work on the, oh, maybe for the SP. Either way, it's Nintendo brand, which is nice, so that's always a good thing. And we got another cable here. Dang, it's just full of cables. It's crazy because, like I said, I picked up all this stuff at a yard sale, and I definitely kind of looked through it, but it's like, that was so long ago. This thing has just been sitting in storage. And it's like, I've forgotten all about it. Like, I don't even know what's all in here anymore. So it's kind of like a mystery. Next up, Leaky Lake Games. I don't know. Maybe this is one of those, like, game compilations. Might be a fun one. We'll have to check it out. Next up, uh, Rayman. Oh, okay. Rayman Raving Rabbits. Now, this is another one of those series where they made so many of these different types of games. I know I have a few of the Rabbids games on the Nintendo Wii, so I'll definitely go through and check and see. If I already have that, I probably would rather play it on the console versus the DS. So We'll see, though, later on. I don't know. Next up. Oh, this is sick. So I actually recently watched... Uh, actually, no. I, excuse me. At the time of this video, the original series. Not, not the one that had the English dub that I'm sure every kid watched because I remember hearing a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid and I was like, no, I'm watching Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. Like I was pretty stuck in my ways as a child, but I recently came across the original series from like, I don't know if it was the 80, no, probably not the eighties, probably the nineties and none of it's dubbed, which is fine. You know, if you're watching anime, you probably go into it watching it with subtitles anyways. Although sometimes I do like to watch dubbed versions and I think there's 25 or 26 episodes. And yeah, I don't know if this is going to be Yugi versus Joey. I feel like this is not from that series. This is probably from the series they did after. But either way, this is pretty cool, especially now that I'm watching the show. And I'm like, oh, I missed out on this show as a kid. But I'm kind of ranting here. That version that I'm watching right now, I don't think we got in America. I'm pretty sure that was just over uh in japan so i would have never been able to see that show anyways because i don't think there's a dubbed version of it but yeah anyways a little bit of extra random useless knowledge for y'all hope y'all enjoy next up we've got tack to the staff of dreams a great series i have uh i, uh, I can't talk i have one or two <laughs> one or two of these games once again at the time of recording i could not tell you off the top of my head what's crazy is usually i know like i know off the bat oh i got this one i got that one but I was going through all my games recently, and I have a ridiculous amount of Nintendo Wii games. Like, a lot of shovelware games, games that pretty much I picked up with the intentions of playing at some point, and I just haven't gotten to yet. And kind of the same thing goes for my PS2 collection as well. I don't know how many PS2 games, but oh man, I need to start going through some of those games soon. And uh, clearing them out, if you know what I mean. Next up, guys. Oh my gosh, which one are we going to look at first? Let's look at this one. Another SpongeBob game, so that's awesome. Globs of Doom. I don't have this one, so I can tell you right now, not, I don't even know if I've heard of this one. But yeah, Globs of Doom. That'll be cool. That'll be cool to check out. The SpongeBob games in general from the ones I've played are pretty fun. What is this one? Zinzu 2? Zuzu Zuzu 2. I see Wild Beach. Hard to read this, guys. Does that say pets? Maybe like one of those pets games. Eh, that's a game I probably try for 5-10 minutes and go, nope, I'm good. Ooh, Yokai Watch 2 fleshy souls now i can't remember if this is one of the games that is like super expensive nowadays it's i think they made a third one so there's yokai watch one two and three obviously if they made a third one <laughs> and uh i think it's the third one but some of these games in general might have gone up what's funny is the first game for the 3ds yokai watch i don't know if it was called something else but that game was at this store called five below you guys have seen it here on this channel five below man they had like 20 copies of that game for $5. 
sealed. And I want to say I picked one up. I think I have it in the collection still. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we'll do like a 3DS collection video one day. But anyways, I picked that game up and I should have just picked up a bunch of them. But you know, I wasn't like, I'm going to hoard all these games. Like I was just, I'm just going to get one for myself. We'll let other people pick them up too. But it's one of those things where it makes you think like, dang, I should have picked up a second copy just to kind of hold on to for a trade later on. But I didn't do it. Oh, well, next up guys. Ooh, code name kids next door. So I was a big Cartoon Network fan growing up as a kid, but there were shows like this that came out uh, probably a little bit after the fact of me watching a lot of Cartoon Network. So this is probably one of those other shows that I heard about, but I was like, I like SpongeBob. <laughs> like, that's what I was watching. So I never really saw this show. Now I'm older, I'm more willing to kind of go back and check out some of these cartoons I missed out on as a kid, just because sometimes you find some bangers. You just never really know. Next up, guys, we've got some styluses for either probably the DS or maybe the 3DS. So that is cool. And we've got more games. Oh, this is one of those inserts that go into the Game Boy Advance uh, section, I believe, of I think it was the Nintendo DS that did it. I don't know if the 3DS played Game Boy Advance games, too. I think maybe there might have been a model of a 3DS that played both. Cannot remember. But yeah, this is just kind of neat. It just goes in there. And that's it. <laughs> Next up, guys, what do we got? Another SpongeBob game. Dang, that's the third one. Atlantis Square Pantis. <laughs> I've heard of this game, but at the time of this video, once again, I don't know if I have this one. So this would be in the, may the maybe pile. Next. Oh, oh, boy. What does that say? Pink Alicious Silverlicious. Dang, it's like Pokemon over here. Pink versus silver. Oh, no. Who's going to win? Let's get that down there real quick. Next up, guys. Oh, y'all see it? You see it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. I forgot all about this. Okay, so that answers the question. The, oh, no, this doesn't play uh, Game Boy Advance games. So, guys, this is the Coral Pink Nintendo 3DS. Dang, this thing is awesome. Ooh, a little stuck. But, I mean, it's pretty clean. You see the screens. There's no scratches. A little bit of dust, but that's okay. And, yeah, very, very awesome. So, 3DS. And, yes, it plays ds and 3ds games it does not play the game boy advance games though i kind of thought there was a model that did and i could be wrong or I, maybe i'm right i don't know next up guys oh man what else do we got in here we've got gem quest four elements or is it gem quest four like the fourth game and it's just called elements probably gem quest for elements probably a shovelware game i could be wrong code uh is it yoko or loyoiko Lo i don't know how to say this one i have one of these games on the wii haven't jumped into it yet guys i promise i play games but pretty much what i do is i jump into a console and i kind of fixate on that console honestly for the last year or so i was like nintendo switch nintendo switch like you guys have seen me talk about tons of games here on this channel i pretty much was just playing switch games and then now don't be mad at me i know this is a nintendo channel i'm playing ps4 and it's freaking sick. I love my PS4. Anyways, but yeah. <laughs> so right now I've been knocking out a bunch of Lego games, which is fun. And I'm going to jump into some other games next. But anyways, a little off topic. I'm planning on jumping into the Wii again very soon. That sentence sounded crazy. All right, next up, we've got Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. This is another Game Boy Advance video. Like I said, before deciding what I want to do with these, I'm probably going to put all of them together in a little video, maybe do a collection who knows? Maybe that video will spark more interest in trying to collect these. I'll have to look them up. I know there's one that's like ridiculously expensive. Maybe it's a Sonic one or something. So I don't know if I want to go for the full set, probably because of that one, but we will see later on. Guys, next up, another Game Boy Advance game, Atomic Betty. Okay. Maybe it's like an action game or something. I don't know. Never played it. Looks interesting. Guys, it's just an endless bag of wonder down here. Next up, what is this one? Let's, let's go through a little of these. A little bit of these is what I meant to say. Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. I've seen this one. I think I have it. I think I have it on the PS2. Cool. Another Game Boy Advance video. All grown up, guys. We got Rugrats. That is sick. I actually had... The, I think it was all grown up on VHS. I actually looked at it recently. So that's kind of funny. Next up, we have the Smurfs. Very, very cool. We've got Wild... and Wild. <laughs> we got Pets. Wild Animals. Tigers. And we've got Marvel Superhero Squad. I know we looked at one of those games recently. I don't know if it was the same game, though. Next up, guys. Oh, my gosh. How many games are in this bag? Next up, we have Cars. And that label looks crazy. So we got Cars. 
another hair y'all can't see. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this one comes with Shrek and Shark Tale. These are full movies. Look at that. Two movies in one. That's crazy. They were able to cram two of those movies on this Game Boy Advance video cartridge. Insane. Next up, we have Transformers Prime, the game. I have played through this game on the Nintendo Wii. It's okay. It's not the best game ever, but, you know, it's all right. It's a super cheap game. I don't need this one since I already have it. And next up, we have Teen Titans. Funny enough, I actually have this game on GameCube, and I can see it from right here. So, uh, I, I think I played this game on the Game Boy Advance, too, already. Like, I might have a copy of this on the Game Boy Advance. I'll have to check and see. Next up, guys. Oh, man, what do we got? Cold, cold, somebody let me know how to pronounce that. The Fall of Xana. I'm sure that's right. But that one, that one right there, is it Yoko? Because that's how I want to say it. I want to, the L is silent. But yeah, we got another one of those. Another Phineas and Ferb quest for cool stuff. I think that's the second one in here. What the heck? It's crazy when you pick up like video game deals and you get doubles. It's like, why do they have doubles? Veggie Tales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. And what we got? We got Open Season and The Secret Saturdays, Beasts of the Fifth Sun. I know I had this game on the GameCube at one point, and then I think the PS2 as well. I don't know why I had both, but once again, collecting for years, you end up accumulating too much stuff, guys. And we have The Secret Saturdays, Beasts of the Fifth Sun. I know I picked this one up at a game store in Georgia because I remember the cover art looked really cool. It was cheap, like five or six bucks. So I know I have that game on the Wii. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and grab a little stack and let's check them out. So we've been talking about SpongeBob SquarePants a lot and we've got another one of those Game Boy Advance videos. <sighs> this is making me think, dang, should I go for the full set? I really don't know if I want to. I'm trying to be more practical now when it comes to collecting, although I'm still going for the Wii U set and the N64 set. And I'm sure some of y'all are like, why? There's so many bad games with both sets. I know. I don't know why I did it to myself, but I'm committed. <laughs> at least for now oh no see you later next up another cartoon network uh oh cartoon network collection so that's cool this makes me wonder what all is on here see i gotta go through some of these before deciding if i want to sell them or not but like i said either way i'll probably make a make a little video on these i think that'll be kind of fun next up we've got super slam oh sorry i was looking at the wrong part of the camera i'm like hey, can you guys see it yeah that's cool <laughs> so we got shrek super slam Oh, man. About to slam it down. Next up, we've got... Oh, let's go. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. I don't know how many of these Mystery Dungeon games they made, but I want to say there's a red version or like a blue version. Maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. I want to say there's like a different colored version, though. I could have swore. So, not sure. Don't know if we have this one. Maybe we'll edit the collection. And guys, oh my gosh. There's a bag within a bag. And then, oh, you see this? Y'all probably can't because it's just, it's endless. All right, let's try to let's try to get through some of these a little faster as I'm struggling to hold the game. SpongeBob Squiggle Pants, another SpongeBob game. Next up, the Lego Movie. I freaking love these Lego games. I actually have not played this one though. I have not played the Lego Movie uh, video game. I think I have this on the Wii. I'll double check later on. Puffy Amiyomi, Amiyomi, Kaz... Nah, I gotta stop trying to read some of these. I don't even know what that was. I can't, I don't know. Beach Bandits, Rocket Power, that's awesome. Picked this game up actually on GameCube not too long ago. So kind of funny seeing similar games once again. There is a hair in here, yuck. Y'all couldn't see it. All right, next up, we've got Nicktoons, Attack of the Toy Bots. We've got Adventure Time, Cartoon Network. Well, <laughs> from Cartoon Network. Oh, Pokemon Y. That is awesome. Now, I can't remember. I think I have... Ew. Freaky... Oh, my God. I think I have Pokemon Y already. It's either X or Y, and I cannot remember. I need to go through some of my games, guys. I just did. I went through all of my games recently. I need to go through them again, apparently, because I can't remember what I have. Next up, we have Peggle. Peggle Dual Shot. Okay. And we've got another SpongeBob game. It's like the fourth or fifth one. Oh, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. This is a great game. I played this on the Wii U, and I can vouch for it. Very fun. Honestly, super chill. Like a 3D platformer. Very, very chill. Not really much of a challenge, but if you are like a young gamer, like maybe someone who does not have much experience, then it might be challenging to you, but I don't even think so. I think it'd be like a great game just to play, 
just to have fun with. So I think this one is for all audiences there. And another freaking Game Boy Advance video cartridge, guys. We have Nicktoons Collection Volume 1. Very, very cool. There's another one in here I can see. Oh, another two. Oh, my gosh. SpongeBob SquarePants Volume 1. Oh, wait. What the heck? I'm seeing double. Oh, okay. Never mind. Volume 1 and Volume 2. So that's cool. I wonder how many episodes they crammed on here. If they put a whole movie on that one cartridge, I feel like they could easily do six episodes. Easily. for Well, there's two movies on there. Cartoon Network Collection Special Edition. Didn't we... Oh, I should have put all these together. There's Oh, Nicktoons Collection. Okay, so Cartoon Network Collection and then the Nicktoons Collection. That's freaking rad. There's still another bag of stuff right here. I don't know what is going on in this pickups, guys. Next up, Ga Gabrielle's Ghostly Groove. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a fun one. We'll find out later. Nicktoons Unite. I love that there's so much Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network in here. That just makes me happy. Next up, Lego Battles Ninjago. Haven't played this one yet. Played a lot of the Lego games, but I have not played that one. Marvel Superhero Squad. Didn't we already look at this game? This is, this is a double. See, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes you just get doubles and when you pick up deals. Another Transformers game. This one is Autobots. The other one was Prime. And another Phineas and Ferb game, but it's not the quest for cool stuff. It's Ride again. Very, very cool. And next up, guys, a Game Boy Advance game. Madagascar Operation Penguin. Pretty cool. All right, we are getting down to the bottom of the barrel. Next up, guys, we have Looney Tunes Duck Amuck. I thought this said Duck Dynasty at first, and maybe that'd be a fun game, but now that it's a Looney Tunes game, I'm a little bit more excited. A little bit more excited. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Guys, go through your collections. Maybe you'll just freaking find a bag of great stuff just sitting under one of your tables, because that's what happened with this. Astro Boy, the video game. The Adventures of Tintin. I think this game was on the PS3, but there's no way the PS3 version is this same game. Could be, but I just feel like it wouldn't. But it did have the same name, so I don't know. Next up, Popeye, Rush for Spinach. I love the cover art on that. That is really cool looking. I feel like this is going to be a fun game. Just based off the cover art alone, never seen it before. Never watched any gameplay. Don't know anything about it. I don't know. Next up, guys, the Clash with the Anti-War. What does that say? Oh, Fairly Odd Parents. That's sick. Clash with the Anti-World. So much like Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network in here. This is amazing. And what is that? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. With a with probably a pet hair included. Maybe an imaginary friend right there. I don't know. Next up, guys. Next up, we've got like 10 more games. Turbo, okay, that's awesome. Turbo Super Stunt Squad. So this game came out on the DS, probably the 3DS too. Um, it came out on the Nintendo Wii and it came out on the Wii U and the Wii U version, last time I checked, was worth a lot of money. Like something ridiculous for a game like this, you wouldn't expect. I think it was like, maybe a, a complete copy was selling for like a hundred bucks, but I want to say a loose copy was like pretty high up there, like 60, 70, so... Turbo, Super Stunt Squad, or you could pay five bucks and get it on the DS. I don't know if it's a $5 game on the DS, but I feel like it's not much. <laughs> Ice Age, Continental Drift, Arctic Games. Always love the different mini games, little collections you can get. Dragon, oh, how to, <laughs> just see Dragon. Dragon, Activision, How to Train Your Dragon. Never played this game, and honestly, that's one of those movies I've never seen. I've seen a lot of these like type of movies, like the Pixar movies and stuff like that. Have not seen this one, though. Need to check it out. Wally, -E, a movie I have seen, and I have not played the game. <laughs> Funny enough, at the toy section the other day at Target, we saw some Wally -E toys, and I'm like, how are they pumping out Wally -E stuff? Like, I get this was a big movie when it came out, but this is years and years ago. Other than it just being like kind of a cute little robot, I feel like kids might gravitate towards. It just kind of makes you wonder. Like, you see Mario stuff all the time. We just got the movie. We got games constantly. You see Sonic stuff all the time. Same with TMNT. But Wally? -E? Is there a show? Is there a movie? Sorry, I got a vendetta now with Wally. -E. Not trying to rant. But just speaking out loud. All right, guys, that's it. That's not it. There's something else in here. Okay, that's it for that. But there's still whatever the heck that little bag is. Next up, guys, Shrek's Carnival Craze. Another party-style game. Very cool. And I don't know why this stuff is bagged. But... 
maybe I sorted this a while ago. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. So I think these are uh, some of the good ones. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Very cool. You guys let me know if you like these style of videos, like just the chill, like let's go over a collection. Like honestly, these are my most fun videos to make just because I get to relax and there's no stress or anything. Y'all let me know down below if you enjoyed this type of video. There's still a little bit more to go. See, this is what I was talking about. I knew there was some sort of like colored version. So Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. And the other one, I forgot, <laughs> forgot, <laughs> where is it? My gosh, I'll, I'll show you all the aftermath later. All right, so we'll put that there. Next up, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Very cool. I either have Ruby or I have uh, Sapphire. I cannot remember. I usually don't collect both whenever I get Pokemon games, at least like the newer ones. And when I say newer, I mean like pretty much anything after Game Boy Advance, like DS, 3DS. But this was super cheap. This entire bundle was like ridiculously cheap. And yeah, maybe I'll hold on to it. We'll see. Next up, another Pokemon game, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Okay, so maybe you would play this one first? I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do with these Mystery Dungeon games. I played a little bit of one, and I don't remember much about it other than just walking around with some Pokemon. I don't know. It was. It's just not what I expect out of Pokemon, so it was just something different, which I get. It's a completely different thing. Pokemon Sun, I have played through Pokemon Moon. I had to think about this one. I was like, I played Sun. No, I didn't. I played the Moon version, which they're the same game. There's just, you know, different little differences here and there. I actually enjoyed Pokemon Moon. That was a fun game. Next up. Oh, dang. Pokemon, what is that? Ranger? Shadows of all Shadows of Alma. Okay. I've heard of this game. I have never played this one though. Very cool. There we go. Pokemon Moon. We we're just talking about it. So I already have this game in the collection. This will definitely go into the for sale pile later on. Another mystery dungeon game. What is going on? Explorers of, what does it say? Time? Explorers of time. Okay. Very cool. Pokemon X. Got Pokemon Y. You got Pokemon X. Oh my gosh. Guys, go to yard sales. You just never know what you're going to come across. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. Again, what the heck? Where's the other one? This is Mystery Dungeon, Mystery Dungeon, and then I cannot find the other one, but I'm going to show you all the aftermath. But before we look at the aftermath, you guys make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this collection slash haul video. Y'all let me know some of your favorite things down below, and then also hit that like button. And now I'll give you a little peek at the mess we made. Ah! Ooh, that might be a good thumbnail too. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, guys, freaking freaking crazy honestly i should have i should have made this video a while ago but like i said this stuff is just sitting makes you wonder what else you got sitting around in your game room just collecting dust taking up space you don't even know you got to go through it guys go through your game room make it a point to go through all your stuff if you are someone like me that goes to yard sales and thrift stores all the time you accumulate things you accumulate them fast so go through your things go through those bins sit in your attic storage go through that stuff. You never know what you're sitting on, but yeah, pretty cool. Guys, I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.